hello, hello. Welcome back to Kira's Workshop. Another year, another obligatory Pride doll. And I'm so honored to collab again with three amazing and extremely talented artists. The theme? Drag Race winners. So today is family only. Moonlight Jewel, the Dolly Geek, Hextian and I joined forces to create a look of some of our favorite queens who have won RuPaul's Drag Race, including All Stars. I'm making one of my favorite queens, the one and oddly, Evie Oddly, and I'm making the look of the Witch Please category. Also, life is about risks, and today I'm taking a risk of making a drag queen using an actual male doll. Okay, enough talking, let's begin. The doll I'm using is Cloud Wolf. The key to successfully make him look like a drag queen, as in real life, is the contouring. First layer, using a dark brown pastel and heavily contouring the forehead, and cheekbones. I actually look at some Eevee makeup looks for reference. Time to snatch that nose with a thinner brush. Then highlight the bridge and the tip of the nose with white. And then highlight the rest of the face with a custom made sand color. Dust it off. Spray the doll one more time and repeat the contouring. This time including the jawline. Again, I'll highlight down the eyes. and the forehead. And darkening the eye socket and nose. Spray the doll one more time and off camera I'll draw the eyes. Now I'm starting to work on the details, such as the waterline, and draw some juicy lips with black color. And now I'm using white pastel to make the brows. I'll curve them out with a sharp eraser. Spray it all again and highlight. Off camera I'll fill the brows with white pencil and also fill the lips with black.
Layer number 136. Darken the eyes and draw a cute wing liner. Next layer, I'll start applying the makeup, which is basically a simple smoky eye. And after that, I'll highlight again. Off camera, I'll fill the eyes with white and spray the doll again. I'll add a pinch of white to the inner corner of the eyes. Highlight again the tip and the bridge of the nose. and add some black lines to the eyes. Spray the doll one last time and off camera I'll glue some false lashes and gloss the eyes and lips. Time to work on the dress. I cut a circular skirt out of black fabric and a shorter skirt on black tulle and also a strip of faux leather on the bottom. Oh my god, look at all those pins! For the top I made a pattern and cut it out of the same tool of the skirt. And I'll use more faux leather to make the design of Evie's dress, which is some kind of a cross on the middle. And a stripe on the sides. So far, so good. Now that the top is ready, time to attach it to the skirts. Jesus, look at all those pins again. I made a pattern for the puff sleeves and cut them on the same fabric of the skirt. and attach them off camera. Now for the hat. I'm tracing a simple circle. A 
and to make it bendable I'll add a wire circle on the edge. And for the top of the hat, I just cut off a simple triangle and sew it together. I'll also add a piece of wire inside. First, I'm making a little loop on the end. To stitch it and keep it steady. To be honest, I made another hat later, because this was horrible. I just kept the footage to show you how I made it. Just right here you can see how awful that hat is. Evie wears black gloves, so I'm painting the hands for that. Now for the hair. First, I'm painting the scalp with wet paint. And later, I'll glue some white yarn webs as a base and give her pigtails. Now for the buns, I'm using a ball of aluminum foil and glue a strand of yarn. On top of it, I'll glue a thinner yarn to add more texture. Repeat that a few more times, on different sizes. And glue them to the head. Oh my god, look how amazing she looks with the hat on! Final step! Claude's feet are huge, uh, and obviously I don't have shoes for him, so I'll mold him directly on the doll. First, I cut underneath the toes to be able to bend them, and carve holes to the heels. I'll use hot glue to keep the toes bended and add some structure. Beautiful. Then glue the wire on the heels. Sweet! 
Now with epoxy clay I'll mold the shoes. Once they cure, I'll salt them down off camera. To be the first pair of heels I made, I believe they look pretty decent. Time for paint. The shoes are black. And to give them a witchy vibe, I'll paint the soles with green. Add the ankle strap and give them a bath of gloss, for it to look like patent leather. I am so happy with my Eevee doll. I'm missing the cape, but I really love all the details on the dress. This is seriously the most time I've spent on a project, and it was totally worth it. Are you a fan of Drag Race? Who's your favorite queen? Let me know in the comment section. And remember to visit the rest of the videos. The links to their channels are listed down in the description box. The complete collab is to die for. As always, remember to like, share, and become a workshopper by subscribing to my channel. 
thanks for watching and don't be afraid to always show him who you are. Scream it out loud! Happy Pride and I'll see you on the next one. Kiro out.